The Morning Star Personified. Engraving by G. H. Freza, 1704 Phosphorus is one of the Astra Planeta, specifically the god of the planet Venus in its appearance as the Morning Star. Another Greek name for the morning star is Heosphorus, meaning the dawn bringer. The form Eosphorus is sometimes met in English. As an adjective, the Greek word phi omega sigma phi rho omicron sigma is applied in the sense of light bringing to, for instance, the dawn, the god Dionysus, pine torches, the day, and in the sense of torch bearing as an epithet of several gods and goddesses. Especially Hecate but also of Artemis slash Diana and Hephaestus. Objectively, Venus is the light bringer as she appears most brightly in the sky in December. The most regular appearance of the planet signaled a beginning of rebirth phase where the days would get longer and winter would end. The morning star is an appearance of the planet Venus, an inferior planet, meaning that its orbit lies between that of the Earth and the Sun. Depending on the orbital locations of both Venus and Earth, it can be seen in the eastern morning sky for an hour or so before the Sun rises and dims it or in the western evening sky for an hour or so after the sun sets, when Venus itself then sets. Venus is the brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon, outshining the planets Jupiter and Saturn but, while these rise high in the sky, Venus never does. This may lie behind myths about deities associated with the morning star proudly striving for the highest place among the gods and being cast down. Stanislaw Vespiansky, Phosphoros, Eos, Helios, Hesperos Pencil drawing, the National Museum in Warsaw, 1897 in Greek mythology, Hesiod calls Phosphorus a son of Astraeus and Eos, but others say of Cephalus and Eos, or of Atlas. The Latin poet Ovid, speaking of Phosphorus and Hesperus as identical, makes him the father of Dedalion. Ovid also makes him the father of Ceyx, while the Latin grammarian Serius makes him the father of the Hesperides or of Hesperus. While at an early stage the morning star and the evening star were thought of as two celestial objects. The Greeks accepted that the two were the same, but they seem to have continued to treat the two mythological entities as distinct. Halbertal and Margalit interpret this as indicating that they did not identify the star with the god or gods of mythology embodied in the star. Hesperus by Anton Raphael Mengs, Palacite de la Moncloa, Madrid, 1765 and the philosophy of language, Hesperus is Phosphorus is a famous sentence in relation to the semantics of proper names. Gottlob Frege used the terms the evening star and the morning star to illustrate his distinction between sense and reference. And subsequent philosophers changed the example to Hesperus as Phosphorus so that it utilized proper names. Saul Kripke used the sentence to posit that the knowledge of something necessary, in this case the identity of Hesperus and Phosphorus, could be discoverable rather than known a priori. The Latin word corresponding to Greek Phosphorus is Lucifer. It is used in its astronomical sense both in prose and poetry. Poets sometimes personify the star, placing it in a mythological context. Thanks for watching.